Hello everyone. Happy Easter to my Christian subscribers. So we're seeing this season. We are making Nigerian uh, stew. We call it a uh, buka stew. So this is just for the Nigerian diaspora that are craving for Mama Basira kind of a stew. Oh, Mama Shola, Mama number one kind of stew. So this is how to make it at the comfort of your home. So we are from the stove already. We have our pots with our palm oil, a mixture of palm oil, this palm oil, palm oil, and this uh, organic extra virgin we've mixed the two together. That's what we have in the pots. So, so we're going to have the dice uh, onions, red onions, into the pot. So while the red onion is getting fried, so what we're using is, uh, this is uh, a combo of uh, tomatoes, fresh tomatoes. Uh, bell pepper, um, habanero, rodo, onions, red onions, ginger, and garlic, and then some uh, tomato puree. This has been cooked. It has been cooked to save time. Then we also have uh, already cooked, pre cooked uh, goat meat and pomo. It has been well seasoned and cooked already. Then we have. Uh, Cow, cow feet, uh, in Nigeria we call it pokoto. This is the pokoto, and this is our grill and uh, shaki. This has been grilled, it's been well seasoned and grilled. Then we have a uh, little bit of a uh, smoked uh, turkey for our the buka stew. Then we have uh, some um, uh, kidney, liver, and then um, fuku lungs. So that's what we're using for the uh, Boca stew today. We have our um, assorted meat uh, stock, uh, meat uh, broth. Then this is the, some uh, some pepper mix. And then we're going to have, at this other side, I have some uh, seasoning and uh, spices that we're going to add into our Boca stew. So let's continue with our cooking. So I'm going to increase the heat now for our red onions to fresh. So I'm going to add a little bit of uh, no, uh, this is beef flavor seasoning into, into this just for, for flavor. And this one, this is a chicken flavor. This needs just a little for flavor before I have my pepper. Just a little. I'm going to have my pepper now. Let me see. Uh, as I said, it means uh, because here you can have any protein of your choice. So, as many protein as you can, if you can afford it. So, but today, that is what I'm going to use. Just to be sure everyone has one or two of their favorites in the pot. I'm going to make any bread in the middle of this. I'm going to add extra oil. Just a little. Okay, so we are having the, this is what time I used to rinse the, the blender. I don't want it, I don't want my perfect to go to this. I'm going to have it. And then I'm going to have this, um, this top. I'm going to add more stock. So, 
able to combine them together and add my seasoning. A very easy and simple, simple stew to make. I'm going to have the the cow feet to cook to cook more for that soft uh, and juicy bite of uh, cow cow feet. So we we'll let it cook for a while before we add the other one, but it's more stronger than the others. Great man. This is a great shaky. I'm adding everything into it. And this is our kidney liver lungs. Yeah. And I'm going to have uh, our good meals and uh, my mom. Okay, we're having our good meals. Still looking very thick. I'm gonna have more water. Seasoning now, uh, talking has been pre cooked. We don't want to scatter into this chain. Half of a teaspoon, half of a teaspoon, then this, half of a teaspoon as well, on top of seasoning. Just a little. So I'm going to cover for two five minutes. Then we come back to have the smoke um my smoke turkey and mama. Alright, we are back. We are back. So I'm gonna have the remaining protein. So we are then the Turkey. Smoke turkey and pomo. You can pass me the pomo. Alright, now we do. And it just is very simple and easy still. So this is our Orishi Rishi Okastil as Pomo Shaki Okoto Donkey Goat Meat Kidney Pomo Fuku Liver Yeah. That is a book as chill. So, if you pre cooked your proteins and the pepper, then it won't take long to, to get it done. So, this is just the last bit. We we'll let it steam together for two five minutes, then our steam is done. See you soon. All right, we're going to taste for salt now. So, just a little. Alright. Yeah, it's perfect now. So our focus chill is ready. So this is how to do it. 
So if you are craving for Nigerian Bukan stew, this is how to do it for your family, especially the Nigerian diaspora, this is how to do it. Okay, if you like my video, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, like it, and then put your comments. If you have any question or if you appreciate the cooking, put it at the comment section. Thank you so much. Happy Easter, everyone. Yeah, not too long, but it's now. That's it. See you.